In the previous video, we created our shape for our beveled gear. Uh, I'm going to come in now and place a sketch on the back side of this. Uh, at that center point there, I'm going to make a circle that is uh, 0.5 inches. Or, yep, 0.5 inches. I'm going to extrude that circle uh, 0.75 inches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a sketch on this as well. And I'm going to draw another circle on that center point. This time that circle is going to be 0.25 inches. And instead of an extrusion, uh, I'm going to do a remove. Oh, I'm going to have to re, I accidentally clicked on a revolve. So let's delete this off. Come back into our sketch four and click on remove. And I want to change through all. So now what you can see is I have my bevel gear. Uh, just for ease now, I'm going to uh, hide this part. I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to place this sketch uh, on that front plane as well. I'm going to draw a quarter inch or 0.25 inch circle and I'm going to extrude this five inches. So you can see that here. I'm going to move over to my assembly. I'm going to insert uh, two of each part. green check mark that and I'm going to just gain a little perspective. Now I'm going to drag these parts away from each other. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix my first axle that I have in here. So this part is fixed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a revolve mate. I'm going to do the revolve mate to the end of there to the end of there. I'm going to green check mark that. Now, just to make sure it spins, I can grab it and spin it. So because we're dealing, again, in open space, we're not uh, dealing in uh, the actual, you know, like a board or a machine that we're attaching to. This is going to be a little bit different than if you were to do it. Uh, so I'm going to do that same revolve mate here. Green check mark. And now what I need to basically do is I need to align my gears up. So I'm going to right click on this one and I'm going to, oh, first I got to highlight it. There we go. And I want to transform this. So what I want to do is I want to double click on this. I want to transform it and I want to turn this part 90 degrees. Uh, I can type in 90 degrees as well because we're going to make them perpendicular to each other. So we've made that 90 degrees now. I'm just going to go to my front. I'm going to grab this piece and I'm going to roughly put it in the right position. I'm going to go to the right side. And again, if you had something built, uh, this process would be uh, easier just to constraining these uh, axles into holes. But we're kind of doing this again in open space. So we don't quite have that luxury. So if I can take a look, my gears aren't quite meshed. So I'm going to come around to this back side here. And I'm going to see, I'm going to have to move this in. So let's take a look. Yep. My gears are almost meshed. Let's get a little bit of a turn on this. Sure. Once they, I have them meshed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this axle and fix it into place. So I have a point to rotate off of. I can come up to my uh, gear relation right here. Click on Revolute 1, Revolute 2. The ratio is 1 to 1 because they're the same size. Then I can come to my Revolute 1. I can click on Animate. I'm going to go to Loop. I'll make them spin a little faster by dropping the steps down. And we can see now that I am meshed 
my bevel gears and that they're turning at the same rate because of the same